Hello. And welcome to Baxter's Blades. Use caution. You're entering the tiger pit. Rawr. Well, Terry, I am so sorry. My apologies. I just cannot wait to Saturday to show this. We have a pocket-worn Mediterranean bone peach seed jig, large 75 stockman in stainless steel. I just couldn't wait till Saturday to share this. Manufactured June 12th, 2024. I told myself that I was going to get a carbon steel 75 stockman. Why? Because I have one. And I have two stainless steel 75s, so I figured the most logical thing to do would be to get my fourth one, have it be a carbon steel. Well, to my surprise and delight, this one popped up. Got it on micro focus here so you can see this pocket-worn peach seed. Now, I was never too huge on the Mediterranean bone. It's a nice dark blue. Some detail there. I'm sure if I had my light on inside, you could see, you know, more depth to the blue. You can see it there. Um, but I do not have a pocket-worn peach seed. And I do not have this case shield. It is, I'm guessing that's a bow tie shield. Looks kind of like a bow tie to me. Um, and I also, you know, Baxter, always looking for the latest and greatest deals out there. When I see a 75 Stockman on sale for $58 and change. Now, sure, it's not the deal I got on my natural canvas micarta at $45. But still, $58 for a beautiful 75 well, I had to pull the trigger. Uh, clip point is nice and centered. You can see they do have the blades crammed in there. I think this one came with blade rub, especially on that blade right there. Let's open it up. I haven't cleaned, waxed, or lubed this at all. Got the clip point blade. Got your laser engraving there. Six dots is 2024. Nice stamp on this one. Since it's out, let's check out the blade grind. Since I got a wonky blade grind the other day. My micro focus is on and it just blurs out. Looks pretty good. Oh, I forgot to bring paper out here. I don't even feel a burr on that one. And I'll leave it open. You can see on this blade, I got a little blade rub. These come with blade rub. If you're expecting a large stockman with no blade rub, don't get a K75. You're going to get it. As long as it's not hanging up, the blades aren't hanging up on each other and nicking the cutting surface, it doesn't bother me. Because that's just how they do it. Uh, you can get the sow belly stockman. They do recess the blades a bit. They don't just bend them over and cram them in. USA 6375 stainless steel. And the spay blade. Looks like they even put oil on this one. Wow. A case factory, I tell you, they're stepping it up. Really nice spay blade. Blade grind looks fantastic. Beautiful sheep's foot on these. You can see how it uh, cants over to the left side so they can squeeze it in there with all the rest. Yeah, 
came with blade rub. Now I'm sure me going like that and closing it with the spade blade down doesn't help, but it's inevitable. It's gonna happen. Very beautiful knife. Let's check out the back spring. Nice polish to it, brass liners. I don't see really any gaps. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Being nitpicky here. Okay, I see a minor gap there. Can you see it? Very minor. $58 and change. What a screaming deal. I think $75 for a 75 is a reasonable deal. For sure. I got my a black and green micarta for that. Fantastic deal. I think I spent about that for my amber jig bone carbon steel. You know, 75 bucks is a lot of money, but this is a lot of stockmen. You get a lot of stockmen for your money. It is four and a quarter inches long. It is definitely Baxter size. I love me a good clip point blade. Fills the hand just perfect. You know, but like I said, if blade rub bothers you, this won't be the one for you. No, I uh, recently had something special pop up on Smoky Mountain Knife Works. That's right, a Sea Dragon Barlow. And it was one penny away from free shipping. And I've always wanted to try the full-size large Rough Rider Stockman. I want to compare it. Now, I know Candle Last Chance Knife has them. Uh, they're good knives. I don't have one to compare it. To the 75 i just am so enamored by the 75 uh, the build quality of all of mine is absolutely fantastic i think i have slight stepping on one of them right there but that was the 45 dollars one so uh yes i ended up purchasing that hey drop hey uh RH Blade and Shade. Look at that. Sketch! Um, I purchased that because uh, I wanted to compare it. And it is uh, their Tater Skin. And they do a really good job with their brown my car that Rough Rider does. And I kind of want to compare it to cases. So we'll have some comparison videos in when I get that. Um, I had no idea that they were going to make a Sea Dragon Barlow. Um, but I got to collect all the Barlows apparently. Or at least the majority of them, so I ordered it. Anyways, I digress. Beautiful Mediterranean bone. So this is what the peach seed pocket worm looks like. Not too much different than the peach seed. Oh, I just had my brown bone peach seed out here. I could have compared it. But you can see how it's just a little smooth out on the top. But still, you got some rough jigging in there. I don't know if I like this micro focus. It keeps wanting to. But I want to get in there on that. Um, like I said, I haven't cleaned this all. There could be some uh, polishing compound in there. I could probably soak it and wipe it off. Very cool. I am liking this Mediterranean bone. I've seen pictures of it, and it just really didn't do anything for me. Um, and their sod busters in the Mediterranean are, are a little pricey. And, you know, I got trappers. I'm sure if they made a Barlow, of course, I'd have to grab it. Um, but I did want another 75 in my collection. You can never have too many 75s. Just ask Jesse McJames, the alien outlaw. He has way more than me. They just are... F I'm not a stockman guy myself, but I tell you, the 75 stockman has sold me. Uh... I picked up a few Stockmans originally, and they are very nice. Like, if I'm going to carry one blade, one knife for a day, I'll grab my 75 because I got three blades. I generally don't use them so much that two of them go dull and I need that third blade. But it's a good variety of blade styles for sure. Very cool shield on this one. Um, Chicago Knife Works, it was, uh, I, I think it was just one of those weird sales late at night and I saw it and I'm like, well, I'm going to get it. 
And lately they've risen their prices a bit, but then they offer you a 10% off coupon, which is the first time I've seen them offer 10% off. So that generally, the police coming after you, generally uh, brings it down to less than their sale. So I think if I would have waited, I probably got in it, I don't know, $57. I'm not sure if they are still on there. Uh, possibly worth checking out and and the prices aren't always on sale so you never know so let's pull the blades out here and give you a full view I am outside it is a racetrack we do have the cops or the fire truck there we go what a killer knife and if you don't want to use that spade blade you got a pretty bitchin' jackknife right there. With a sheep's foot. Love the clip points on these. I love how they don't really do any swedging. <clears throat> Excuse me. But at the top there, right above the nail neck, they do kind of crown that over. So I don't know, if, I don't think that would be considered swedging, but it is a nice touch by case. And for all those who don't like swedging, uh, Case doesn't do it very often. They do do it on some knives. Thank you for joining me at the Tiger Pit. I'm so sorry, Terry. I just couldn't wait till Saturday. <laughs> you all, stay sharp, be kind, and take a chance on Case. Take care.